Got a helpless dog at least 50 times and miraculously that dog survived. Now new at 10, the search is on for the person who did this as the dog recovers from her injuries. ABC 13's Derek Lewis talked with a veterinarian about what happened and about the dog's recovery. New at 10. Derek? Yeah, Gina and Eric, the dog rescues have named this dog Violet. Now they say after this shooting, since it happened days ago, no one has come forward to say, hey, this is my dog. Doctors say after this happened, she is lucky to be alive. Good job, girl. Violet is getting some rest at the Family Animal Hospital of Friendswood after her surgery. Right now she is stable. 716 Paws Rescue found her in Cleveland, Texas with dozens of pellet wounds that doctors believe were shot at her from close range. Major artery. Dr. Arazu Chakralahi, who goes by Dr. Zhu, says Violet is a trooper. People behave worse with a stubbed toe than she does with these sorts of things. Um, I think she's just very grateful to get attention and love and be able to trust somebody. Her trust in people shattered. There's probably about 20 on this foot. The day she was shot and left out on the street alone. She was a bit head shy, you know, kind of ducking away when people would try to put their hand near her face or head. And now she's ducking into them for pets. X-ray images show the abuse she survived. Yeah, she said room two. Okay. Immediately, Violet went into surgery to prevent an infection from growing that could have possibly killed her. She had blood to death out there. Now, with just three legs, she's feeling some relief while on pain medication. This girl's amazing, actually. We're, we're really... Um, uh, proud of how she's doing. Unfortunately, Violet is not a rare case for this vet. Dr. Zhu says they get dogs of some kind of abuse, including gunshot wounds, about once a week. Everything else. The injuries have easily racked up thousands of dollars in medical bills. Dr. Zhu says some people can just be cruel. They don't see animals as feeling and living, um, breathing, emotional creatures. <laughs> Violet has one more surgery and she'll be fully recovered by mid-December, and then she'll start looking for a permanent home. Pretty lucky. I'm Derek Lewis, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.